the No Fate channel checking in. And today is the inaugural episode of my newest series, Audio Nomad. So for all of you who wish you had more time to read, this is the series for you because I'm going to cover every type of possible topic with regards to audiobooks. Today I am going to be starting with a super secret application that offers a wide variety of free audiobooks. I really enjoy sitting down and reading a book. And before I had my children, I used to crank through a number of books a year. But if you're a parent or you just happen to have a busy lifestyle, you know the first thing to go when times get busy is actually sitting down and enjoying reading a book. So that's why I'm starting this series, Audio Nomad, to cover all of the audiobook topics and issues that might help you actually get through new books that you are interested in um, during your hectic and busy lifestyles. And today, we're going to start with the very secret, super secret application that no one knows about but offers a large variety of free audiobooks. And that application name is Libby. Libby is your local library's version of audible.com. I'm going to go over the pros and cons about how you get this application and how I've used it and my experience with it. And hopefully this is going to help you decide if it's something that you want to use in your search for audiobooks. So the number one pro by and large is that is it is 100% free. You go on your smartphone, you go to the app store, you search for Libby, you download it, and all you need is a library card. If you have an active library card at your local library, you are good to go when you turn on the application. It's going to ask you to enter your library card information, and then you are off to the races. So the number one pro, by far and large, is that all of the books on there, including some of the magazines that they have available, 100% free. Number two is that it has a very large selection. Considering that it is free, again, that was the number one pro, number two is that the selection is extremely good. The only downside to that being that the latest and greatest and newest books are not going to be on there. So I found with using Libby, not only was the selection very good, but if you're looking for a book that was, you know, three years or older, they usually had it. That was, uh, that was something that was surprising. I personally was able to get a few Malcolm Gladwell books. I was able to download like a Tony Robbins book, as well as a few other books that I already listened to. I think Wild was one of them, as well as Searching for Bobby Fischer. One of the things I did like regarding audiobooks, especially if I was going to do it while I was multitasking with chores and driving and other stuff around the house is that re-listening to books that I already read, normally I wouldn't bother picking up a book that I've already read and spending that time. But since I was multitasking, it was a good way to, you know, reread a book, so to speak, without actually having to sit down and read it. So there's no such thing as a free lunch. And even though Libby is 100% free, there are some downsides. The first and probably the biggest downside is that once you find a book, an audio book that you are excited about, Sometimes it's not available. There's sometimes it's a waiting list. If it's a popular book or a newer book, oftentimes there can be a substantial waiting list. You can put your name on that waiting list and it will notify you via the app once that book becomes available. The second con with respect to Libby and one that might not really impact you is that it is like a library. Of course, the library runs it. When you take out a library book, it has a due date that you have to return that book by. Well, the audio books are, are exactly the same. Once you take out a book or an audio book that you are interested in, you have a certain amount, a certain window of days to actually listen to it. So if you do take out a 12 hour or 14 hour audio book and only plan to listen to it like 30 minutes a day or or maybe five hours a week, it can be difficult to complete it before it is due. Oftentimes, if it's not a very popular book, you can then take it back out again. But if it's a popular book and someone else has been asked to have, have their name on the wait list, you are on the hook to finish it by that allotted time, or you simply lose access to that audio book and someone else gets it and you have to go put your name in the queue again. Overall, I'm extremely grateful that I was able to stumble across Libby. Uh, obviously, the number one selling point is that it is free, but I was very impressed with the sheer volume of audiobooks that they have on there. Before I try to find an audiobook online anywhere else, I always search Libby first. Uh, the application is easy to use and the audio quality is very good. Hopefully, this has at least opened up your eyes to the application, something to think about if you are considering audiobooks in general or if you're looking for an audiobook that you cannot have to pay for because if you like me and you do go through a number of audiobooks um, a week then 
paying for them all the time can add up very, very quickly. Hey, if you came this far in the video, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. This series is going to be dedicated to audiobooks, and in the next episode, I'm going to tackle the big monster in the room, audible.com. As usual, thank you for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.